Hey guys, hey, um, just wanted to talk to you guys uh, doing the video director uh, position on Sunday mornings. I want to do this video um, quickly so that we can try and get everybody on the same page where they're operating it, you know, consistently from Sunday to Sunday since we have different, you know, operators from Sunday to Sunday. We've been having uh, some inconsistency when it comes, especially since we started using the chroma key for the live stream. So. What I want to do is I want to kind of explain chroma key, how it works, and what's going on, and then that way everybody will be on the same page. Um, one of the things that has changed, I know that when uh, I first got here, that when on Sunday mornings y'all would have to come in and you would have to program your side screens, you'd have to program your record, you'd have to program your confidence monitor, you know, and then on your record, you have to do the, you know, the shift auxiliary to get it so that the T-bar, you know, would operate. What I want to let you know is that I have been really spending a lot of time learning this crossover. And there's no need to do any of that programming anymore. When this thing fires up, and I know that when y'all come in on Sunday morning, it's already programmed. But, just want to let you know, in case I get hit by a bus, it's really simple now to set it up for Sunday morning. Um, if you look right here and on the uh, on the crossover, if you hit recall zero, it sets this ROS up for Sunday morning. Uh, it sets the chroma key blue for on, on the keyer. It sets your uh, your preview and your program for on your record side. Um, your side screens are automatically programmed. Your confidence monitor or back of house monitor is already pre-programmed. So all you gotta do is hit recall zero. I've got a couple of other recalls in there as well. Uh, recall one actually sets it up for um, our Wednesday night and Thursday night practices. Uh, it's just a, a simple, so that here the operator could just kind of see what's going on. And then recall two is actually for the school for the FBA because they don't use they don't use FX1 they use only FX2 um, for the school so that's the reason why I've done this recall too um, so recall zero again puts it back into a Sunday setting so let's talk about uh, you know how we have the systems the pro presenter system set up so if we come over here and as you can see on the screen up there you know, we've got the Pro Presenter 1 going out. And, you know, as I sit there and advance the slide, you can see the slide's advancing. Now, if you come over here to Pro Presenter or to, to the Pro Presenter that's operating on FX2, what you'll notice here is that this slide right here uh, is the same as on FX1. So I have these two computers hooked up through the network where this FX1 is the master controlling the um, you know, FX2. So as I advance FX1, FX2 is also advancing automatically. Now you're going to ask the question, what's the deal with the blue screen? That's the blue chroma key. So what we have done on here, what's, how this has been set up, is that the, uh, the ROS has been set up that anything that's blue coming from FX2 is taken out and so that way then it goes transparent so let me give you an example of that so um, uh, at this monitor over here here's the thing you need to know about this monitor this is one that you really need to be paying attention to which is actually the same as your program out whatever you see here is what's going to the live stream and is also going downstairs to the lobby it's this monitor right here uh, which is your program out so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit, I'm going to do the T-bar, and there's a camera shot. And actually what's good is you can still see, um, you know, FX1 is still going to the screens out there. Now if you come here and see right here where I'm getting ready to press, that's the keyer. So I'm going to press the keyer, and as you can see, now the words are on top of the live stream. And so... I'm going to go over here again on FX2, and if you continue watching the monitor over here, you can see that those are advancing. Now let me go back to a blank slide, and let me just show you 
So you've got a blank slide, you've got a blue slide here, you got no text, and yet you still have your camera shot. Here's one of the issues that has been happening. If the pro presenter operator on FX1, if he happens to, and it's common, if he happens to do a clear all, what's going to happen, I want to show you before I hit it, so as you can see, we've got a graphic there, and if you look over here on FX2, the output there is blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a clear all on FX1, but watch what happens here. So I click clear all, look, it went black. So now, if you look here at FX2, it went black. If you look at your program out, it went black. If you look at your monitor out, it went black because the keyer is still turned on. So watch what happens when I turn the keyer off. I turn it off and your camera shot comes back. Why is that? Because black doesn't equal blue. So that's really what it is because the keyer is set for blue. Anything that's blue, the video will transparent, will go through it. Well, well, and anything, and since that black is a full screen, that's why it's taking out the full screen. So, what does that mean? Video directors, you cannot leave your keyer turned on and just assume that it's always going to be okay. You need to actually turn this layer or this keyer on and off between songs. Because you never know what your operator over here is going to do. He may run into a problem and he may have to clear out the screen. So again, turn the, le the keyer off between shots. Now, one of the other things, let me go ahead and put some graphics back up. I'm going to turn the keyer back on and I'm going to show you, uh, if you look here in the preview of FX1, which happens to be black right now, is set is, is the the green box means this is the the preview the red box means this is the program this also is a red box because it's going on top of the programs it's the key layered so if i put camera two as my preview and then if i hit the t-bar you'll see over here on the program out the video changed but yet the text stayed so just just know that you can go between the two cameras and you will not affect your text. But again, make sure you turn that layered off um, between songs. The last thing that I'm just gonna say, uh, just to make sure you read, when you get here on Sunday mornings, please make sure you read your, um, your run sheets. These things are so important. There's a lot of information on here that we put in here that sometimes I just don't have enough time on Sunday mornings. As you sometimes know, rehearsal may go a little long and I just can't get all the details in. So please go through this and then if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, so uh, we, we try to do our best and then as you know, sometimes things, you know, uh, go haywire or, or sometimes things get changed. So. Thanks guys. If you got any questions, just send me an email uh, or talk to me on Sunday morning. And uh, But I hope that this will help and, and clear up uh, everything and, and some understanding. See you all on Sunday. Bye.